His dairy products are sold almost everywhere, and his restaurants are crowd favorites to say the least. These things, though seemingly unrelated, have become Kigali landmarks, and the only thing connecting them is the man behind the business. Okay, my name is Serge, uh, Sanan de Serge. I'm in a food business, a restaurant and a dairy business. I like all the teenagers when they're young. I think we are very confused at age. So I was also a teenager and confused, but I was doing a lot of uh, small businesses like uh, pharmacies and uh, uh, public phone, uh, selling cars and working like a driver. Sounds like quite a wide spectrum for just one man, doesn't it? I think uh, I realized in Rwanda when I was, uh, in that time, 2004, uh, in Rwanda, it was uh, a restaurant or something like a new. And luckily, I think when I was 24, I met a chief, he was an Italian guy. I think through that chief, he's the one really who gave me the inspiration. He's the one slowly he start to give, I start to, to learn the restaurant. I was started really to be more interested in our food processing. It's almost unbelievable his journey up until now, but he assured us that his path wasn't always paved in gold. With as much success as he's received in the field, Serge is no stranger to big challenges. The big challenge we face, we face in the business, I think, first of all, so to get uh, people who's like uh, qualified in the. It can be waiters or uh, even a dairy business. So in, in, in Masaka, what I did, I take myself a course in Italy. So our staff here, I'm the one who teach them and I bring some... Uh, there's one friend who come and give us another course in Rwanda. Another challenge I think we find in the business, it was a big thing, especially in the bar, it's a music problem because uh, it's still a little bit uh, not clear the place in Rwanda where you can have a bar with uh, music and so yeah I think they are planning that but for now of course you start a business then you end up invest a lot because you need to invest in a soundproof and so luckily by Paris we 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 faced that problem two years ago and somehow we managed to have a soundproof nightclub and. Uh, yeah, of course, challenge in the business is always there. You, it's like a daily problem. They always gonna be something break. I couldn't leave without finding out how he managed to endure these challenges and move forward. What keeps him motivated? I think for me, when I travel in other African country, when I back in my country and see Rwanda, how it's developed, how it's safe, how it's comfortable to live in Rwanda. And I'm not in politics, I'm not working in a, in a bank or so any institution, but I feel like my participation is like when I open my companies and see Rwandan teenager or Rwandan people getting a job, and I just feel like that's the way I, I contribute to, to, to build my country. So my big motivation, of course, someday I, I wake up and feel very tired and and sometimes I uh, can be disappointed with my staff. But then when I see in the morning everyone they're there, cleaning the place, arranging the table, everyone is doing something, then I feel happy. I feel like uh, that's the way I, I feel like really that, that this is the way I can really build my country. To all young entrepreneurs out there, I hope you're taking what he said to heart. Makeda Mahario, Rise and Shine Rwanda.